and a lifeline in this game. Huge ODM oh. opportunity to try to surprise some teams, but all the solos are getting lost throughout all the action. Into the top five we go. The zone is now beginning to start to close in our 12th moving. Everybody's getting dropped out. Even the players that are left alive are in shambles. No heals, no builds. This one's gonna go down to a wire. I don't even know if the zone's gonna close this game. The zones have been so, so taxing. They've moved so, so far. All these players running out of match, you can see Chicho, he doesn't really have anything left to work with, just has his shotgun and he can't hit the shot. And so for Vini and Vino and Queasy, it's so easy. We've seen them in this position win games. And I bet you there's no doubt in their minds how this one's going to close out. They just have to connect the finishing shots, the finishing blows, and that will be it. Game one is won by Queasy. They're trying to make up for lost time. Same thing with Restguard and Hellfire. They went down rather early in game number one. But if you look at the height right now, it's Seti, it's Cammy. They find themselves primed in the top spot here. Two eliminations as they're causing so much chaos down below. No materials for this team, though, and you see how desperately they're looking for something. Wow. And Cammy will find it. What? to shot onto ref's guard but it's going to be the last shot he hits in this game can say he do similar he will a big one down there and now a 1v2 situation for seti can he hit the shot he has hit a couple but he won't finish one he gets it can he do the 1v1 no no it's ready to close it out they need to be careful diops and andrex have to be careful of chasing the mustache though because not only are they down on low they're going to be looking up as well with one splash less, you see Andalix, what he has in his mind. Do I stagger myself back? Do I go forward? Makes the wrong decision, and it costs him everything. That was Mustache, who was able to find that elimination. Now Vortex is finding one as well. Huge sneaky plays as he takes down Anchor. Now he has a problem in itself. He has to find his way to the zone. He doesn't have any HP to regain. Meanwhile, slow and steady wins the race. Repfire and Hellfire have a smooth sailing. What looks like that top spot. And Tayson's falling. That leaves Mustache all alone once again, but he's struggling. No material. Materials. No way to cover his angles, no way to cover his back. And he's going to be taken out by Wheat and Q Roll. And so now a 2v2 in these final moments. Both teams seemingly have enough to try heal off. Hellfire's job is to stop that from happening. Tries to use that pulse rifle to his advantage, and it won't quite happen. Wheat, he has a slurp, has some chug splashes. I think Rescard above has just that bit more. And so it's going to come down all to who has enough heals. This is looking much more like the previous weeks we've seen, Jacob. Yep, I think Revscar, because he had high ground very, very early on in the game, they were able to conserve Matt's resources, campfire. the heals that he's using. He's going back, just like you said, to try to go for the campfire. Wheat with only four splashes left. He's trying to go back and find out where this heal off is coming through at. There's even another slurp juice left for grabs, but Revscar knows there's so much here towards the trailer park from apples. There's corn. Ooh. There's so much for him to grab, but Wheat catches up. Just in the of time. One tick is all it's going to take, and Repstar survives. Right in there anybody's opportunities as all this chaos goes through we're barely getting into the top four as vortex has a solo these are huge points for him and japco at this stage in the game he can find two more eliminations in the past couple of seconds he's trying not to take any more ticks but he's run out he has no heals he needs to connect to some shots will anybody present the opportunity in front of him he's desperately searching he's given up hope there's nobody there bevies is still alive but he knows he has no heal off potential and so it's the buell way in the zone looking for something anything to keep his heal off alive misha's doing the same exact thing both of them with same amount of heals two chunks brushes just to slurp and he's found the flopper he's found the flopper the buell he must have it surely misha will he find anything i doubt it the med miss comes through as well and there's another one on the ground for the buell he has all the heals in the lobby anything he could possibly ask for and misha's gonna try bandage to stay alive but it's gonna be done it's gonna be over i think so at least wait storm sickness no for a moment i I thought the bill was gonna they have splashes, they have the men miss, and they're using them for both of them to try to keep themselves alive as a duo to the very end. Even picking shots at players flying through the sky, trying to get to their heels that they left to the backside of zone. And this is Seti's Cami to strike. They're trying to take the high ground. This could be a moment that defines their game. This is such an interesting play from Seti and Cami. Rarely do we see teams go into the back of the zone to chop. We usually see teams do it from the front side. And so now it's Seti healing in the zone and not enough HP to finally survive those ticks is tasting them as dash though alive the low ground warriors the low ground kings in this lobby clearing out everybody that falls to their layer and now a chance to heal off, win things out. Tayson, though, wants to win this fight. Doesn't have enough HP, will fall. Mustache, though, knows he has to get the business done. He's up against Firebro, and it's only a matter of seconds that will go between them two. 
Firebro has no heals. Mustache has it all. You've got to think it's going to be that. Firebro looking to try use the pulse over to get in, but it's not going to be enough. Mustache and Tayson finally.